Hey guys, today I'm gonna be making uh, uh, some grape wine, and right now I have this uh, Red Star Premier Potato Wine yeast. From what I heard, that uh, this gives you more of a fruitier aroma and retains a lot of the sweetness in the wine. So I'm gonna be using this one for just to do a uh, comparison and test and uh, make wine using this and I'm also using the Premier Classic on the other bottle and uh, and to make this wine I'm gonna be using uh, about two cups of sugar and I'm gonna be pouring it into uh, each of these uh, bottles and uh, to make a wine you guys have to use a uh, 100% grape juice it cannot be a blend and the reason we add the sugar is to add uh, uh, um, nutrients for the uh, uh, yeast to eat to convert it into alcohol and uh, one other thing let me open this I used uh, one of these before it it gives you a great flavor with this yeast the Red Star Premier Blank but I would suggest not to use it because it makes it uh, makes the alcohol uh, content uh, really high I think it goes over 18% and even though I like the wine, I just didn't like uh, getting drunk. <laughs> like I mean, it does get you drunk fast if this is what you're looking for. I would definitely use this Premier Blank. But from what I've heard, uh, this is a uh, this is this definitely uh, leaves it uh, less dry, so it has a little bit more sweetness uh, in the wine. From what I heard, and uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, 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 pouring this some of the juice out at the top as well and and I'll be back so I went ahead and added uh, uh, some juice from the top uh, from both of these into this uh, another container that I had from that I got from Walmart and this bottle of water cost like a dollar thirty but I gave it to uh, gave all the water out to my dog so I just emptied it out and I poured in uh, all the uh, some of the grape juice from the top into this bottle and the reason we do that is once I add the sugar, I gotta add the yeast and I'm gonna shake it up for like 40 seconds, like good 40 seconds to a minute, each of these bottles. And the reason uh, we wanna leave this much space, not only it makes it easier to mix the sugar, but you wanna uh, give it space uh, for the yeast to ferment and create those uh, 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 gases in there. And uh, once you uh, uh, add your yeast, you want to go ahead and uh, put this cap on the top like this yeah that's what you want to do so you can have the air escape I'm gonna go ahead and add the yeast and the sugar in there I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up and I'll be back Come on, let's go. And here's the second bottle. Yep, dropping some. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up. Make sure that the sugar uh, is fully dissolved and you don't want it to settle down at the bottom. Shake it up a little bit more. Alright, that one's done. Now I'm going to shake this one up. Come on, it's a 
Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open these bad boys up. I'm gonna use, pour in about like a, I'm just gonna guess a little half of this teaspoon in this. I don't know if I Let's see this. So this is the Premier uh, Cote Des Blanc. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pour in a little teaspoon. And I'll just pour in a little bit more. And it's about this much. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in there. And next up is Premier Classic. Let's see. And I'm gonna pour in about just as much. I'm just guesstimating, guys. I'm just a noob. I'm very new to making wine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in. So. So this is the wine yeast at the top I'm gonna go ahead and I shake it up right now and I think that will take care of it uh, in making the wine and the remaining juice I'm gonna go ahead and add some apple juice and the remaining grape juice and some two cups of sugar makes a drier wine I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, 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 use this packet right here and just see you know how how the end product comes out um, so it usually takes about four weeks two to four weeks uh, to make wine, but I think when I use the Premier Blanc, it's uh, the fermentation uh, process started really fast, and within two weeks, I had a very strong uh, wine. It was very strong, guys. Like, like if you wanted to get drunk, use this. <laughs> all right, so I right, I went ahead and I uh, mixed all the yeast in, and what I'm gonna do is next is I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my closet. And I'm going to leave uh, some of the cap a uh, little open at the top so the air can escape. And one way to check is, you can hear the voice come in if you press the bottle. That's how you know there's a inner space at the top for the gas to escape. Maybe I should open this one up a little bit. You want to leave it just a bit open so the gas can escape. So once again, this is the uh, the one on the left is the Cotes de Blanc, and the one on the right is Premier Classique yeast. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some sugar in the remaining uh, uh, grape juice, and I'm gonna throw in some apple too. But I'm gonna do that at the end because I don't want the sugar to stick. Uh, next up, I'm going to add some of this apple juice that I have that I got from uh, Walmart. Once again, it has to be 100% juice. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in there. Alright, perfect. So I just left some space at the top for for apple juice and next I'm gonna I think I'm gonna just add this premier cote de blanc uh, uh, yeast in there and I just I'm just gonna use this as a test uh, to see how the how it turns out but I'm just gonna use this as a way to make apple cider I'm not adding any sugar in here because I don't want the alcohol content to go up really high so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this in here 
And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it a little bit. I know I spilled it. I'm very clumsy. I'm very new to this. So I'm just gonna do what I can. Shit. I'm gonna dump a little bit. There you go. All right. So I went ahead and added the. Uh, I went out. Uh, went ahead and I uh, used the Premier Rouge on the remaining grape juice with a little bit of apple juice. And so this is gonna be uh, uh, just a test to see how you know how the I guess how it tastes at the end. You know if it's sweet, it's dry. We'll find out. And for this one, for the apple cider, I, I didn't add any sugar. I just added the Premier Classic uh, yeast, so you know. Uh, I think I think uh, for cider, I think it takes about a week uh, for it to uh, ferment, and usually the alcohol content is around five uh, percent. So I'll, I'll check back on the apple cider in a week, and these wines right here, these three, uh, probably three to four weeks. We'll find out. Um, yeah, and this was just a test. Uh, I have made a uh, wine about a week, uh, about a month ago previously, and I made a uh, Papa's wine as well as uh, used a uh, Premier uh, Blanc. Papa's wine came out uh, very uh, sweet, it was too sweet actually for me, but uh, with Premier Blanc, it came out uh, with a very high alcohol content, and I just used like what one of these bottles right here, right here like a Welch's grape juice and I added like about a cup and a half of sugar and a teaspoon of this and that's how much uh, and I, I would say that was the strongest wine I ever tasted so if you're trying to get drunk guys once again go with the Premier Blanc from Red Star okay and this is just a test please leave a comment down below you know to share your thoughts on the different yeasts uh, that are that are being used uh, but yeah, the classic, the rook, and uh, the blanc, I guess. That's how you say it. So I would appreciate any comments on the comment section and would love your input as well, guys. And uh, uh, yeah, see you, see you around. See you, in, I guess, in a month. Bye.